all little friends and welcome i'm chromatic sauce and we're gonna watch me draw today first thing i do is take a kneaded eraser and roll it across the image this picks up excess uh pencil from the page so it doesn't muddy up the colored pencil down the line uh, especially with the light colored dog it would smear into the colored pencil and just make it look dirty and dark where it's not supposed to be the next things i do is for this drawing, the next thing I did was the eyes and the nose because I think it had the most detail and it was easier to start bringing it to life from that point. I like to start bringing it alive um, with the details in the face. That way when I add shading around it, I can tell if it's looking normal or if it needs to look darker uh, and I can start adding dimension. Uh, I also like to get in the blacks. like. The eyes have black and the highlights so I, that way I have the darkest and lightest point and I can go off from there and I know exactly where my mid-tone should be. Uh, I thought this photo was really awesome because if you look under the chin of the dog uh, there's some green uh, from the grass and if you look there's also some blue on the fur which is reflecting from the surroundings and I think that reflection makes the fur look really cool and it makes the dog look really dimensional. I think this photo was really awesome to work with. Uh, the next thing I did was the ears. I usually go for the ears, the eyes, or the nose as the most detailed po points of the face. Uh, there, there's just uh, a lot of shadows in there and a lot of details. I feel like ears bring out a lot of the characteristics of the animal. And I think that helps improve the likeness of the drawing. And basically the next thing you do, you're just adding more dimension. I'm just going in and adding shading to the face, making it darker. Uh, it's nice to add a lot more color than you think is needed because when you take a step back, uh, a lot of times the color can get washed out in the fur. So I like to add more color than you think is necessary. Uh, you can see that in the cheeks where there's it looks really blue and really green there but then when you add the shadow over top like I just did um, it really blends in and you don't even notice that the dog has blue fur because uh, it's just the reflection of the grass it makes sense to your eye you got to get rid of all your prior knowledge of how a dog looks this dog has white fur or beige fur but uh, you gotta get those darks in there. If there's blue reflecting in the fur, you gotta get the blue in there and it'll really make it stand out and pop. Uh, and basically I just keep adding layer after layer of shadows to the front of the chest and it really makes uh, the face pop out even more once you add that depth in there. You can't be afraid to go dark with the colors. And basically I just keep going back I noticed the face needed more so I added more then I add the rest of the color to the body and then I'm pretty much done uh, I'm really liking uh, how this one turned out it's one of my favorite drawings I've done so far uh, and I'm excited to uh, learn and progress uh, now I started on the grass I did the same thing got that kneaded eraser to pick up that extra pigment that way any highlights in the grass don't just turn dark so they're the grass isn't just dark smudges. And now I'm starting the grass, which was the death of me for this one, let me tell you. It took way longer than I ever anticipated. A full detailed background of grass is a lot of work. Like, just think of how many blades of grass there are on your lawn, and I was trying to draw every single one of them. Um, so that's why it took so long to draw this one. But I'd say it was definitely worth it because I really love how it turned out. I think it's fun to see how uh, the foreground uh, detail makes the dog pop even more than he already does. Obviously, once again, you're going to want to make sure you get blacks in there. You want a lot of dimension in the grass. Uh, there was a point where uh, towards the back of the painting, that grass is out of focus. so. Uh, halfway up the drawing, I stopped with the detail and just kind of went with the colors, but the foreground really does have a lot of detail in it. And here is the finished drawing.
please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell and follow me on my Instagram at chromatic sauce to see more art from me. Thank you. Have a good day.